What is going on, everybody out there? The old buddy Hippie Vates, man, coming at you with a simple, huge Clapton coil bill. Let me set this fan off so you can hear me a little better. Huge Clapton coil bill. Just real simple, easy. And I'm going to put it in that Warrior RD, RDA. I don't know if y'all remember this one. It's a, a Warrior. Here's the dick. It's got the clamp system deck on it. See the clamps? Okay. It's an old dripper, but, you know, it'll fit good on my heavy hitter, you know, with that 30T battery in it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm building for it. So I think this is going to sit real nice. It's a 25 millimeter. Hell yeah, man. Dual coil, Nichrome 80, fuse clapton. You know, five wraps on each side is going to get me around a 0.14 ohm. You know, that's close to 0.15. You know, it, it's going to teeter on that. So we're going to go with it. You know, I brought up my vape tool. You know what I'm talking about? That vape tool, man. Download it on your Android. Okay. And then the top button thing there, you put dual coil. And then maybe it'll show them. And then it's right here, you tap on it and it'll tell you fuse clapping. So once you get the fuse clapping, you, you let it know you got two cores. You're using Nichrome 80, 26 gauge. Okay. And the outer wrap is going to be Nichrome 80, 34 gauge. I'm using a three millimeter bit, which is this top number. My legs are going to be three millimeters long, and I'm going to ohm out, should, with five wraps, 0.143 ohm. So that's how you figure out, you know, and then if you scroll on down, it'll tell you, you know, right here at the bottom, based on 3.7 volts, how many amps you're pulling, which is 25.9 amps, which is pretty high, but I'm, I got a 30T battery, so it'll be fine. You see what I'm saying? Hell yeah, a 30T21700 battery. Shoot, man. So five wraps on each side. Sounds like a deck on plan to me. So we're going to just drop it down. And I'm going to show y'all real how easy it is to build a fuse clapping. Okay. I'm just using some Tempco wire because I got it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no rhyme or reason. I've had this wire for a while. Uh, you need you one of these beetalons, okay? A little paper clip. You don't want it too tight. You want it so it will move on this round thing right here. And you got your wire coming up through the hole there, up through the paper clip and up through the hole. So when you pull on it, it'll pull off the spool. You see that? So I pulled out me a about this much right here off of this spool and i'm gonna leave it sitting just like this on the table for a sec okay all right and i'm needing a couple of coals i can build a bunch of coals these are so daggone easy to make you know just a little time and effort so i'm gonna take my 26 gauge nichrome 80 okay and i'm gonna pull out about length of the drill here well, i ain't gonna go down there yeah, right there, and then I'm gonna pull no one out equal length, and then cut my wire, keep it on the table so it don't fall on the floor. Yeah. All right, just like this, man. Just like that, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, cut off that end right there. Boom. Put that to the side. Don't let it drop on the floor. You'll step on it later and you'll go, oh, daggone it, that long hair if you told me not to let it drop on the floor. And just pull it down just like this till you get to that point right there. And then just squeeze it a little bit. So that tells you, you know, hey, there's my daggone end right there. So I'm just going to come down here just like this. And I'm going to bend these two guys right here. You see that? 
and now I got two ends. Now I'm going to take these two ends, stick them in and chuck them a drill. See this? So one goes in one tooth and another one goes in another tooth. And then try to get them as center as you can in that chip. Just like that. You know what I'm talking about? Simple, simple, simple. And just pull this guy, lay him down, put him on your swivel. And I'm dropping everything. And then slide your finger down all the way down to your swivel. So now both the string, both the pieces of wire. Are good to go. Let me move some of this crap out of the way. I wasn't really prepared for this, but I needed to build me a coal. Okay, might as well record it because I'm needing one, right? All right. So let's see here. Then I got it going clockwise because that's the way I like it. And wrap your wire, your 34 gauge wire. Wrap it around one of those legs a couple of times, just like that. Cut that excess off. Pull your drill this way. Tighten up the two wires. Hold your spool back here and just start going. And let this catch up to what you got on here. And then you can just let it go. There you go. Just let it go, man. Just like that. That's all she wrote. Make sure your ball bearing swivels are spinning. See, that's why I always put two. You get two on there. See that? Just like that. It would be nice to have some music playing, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Takes a little while with a slow drill. That's all right. I ain't in no rush. See how it's doing? See that? See, there's a little twist right in here. But I'm going to show you how you fix that. See how it works? See that? See how it works? When it goes to bounce, you just stick your finger up underneath it, you know? Uh, 
show you a little trick here at the end. Okay, now I'm going to stop it right here. Okay. Now watch what I do. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And I'm going to wrap it over it a little bit. See, I wrapped it over itself a little bit. Let's see here. If I can get it to focus. Hmm. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. Anyway, I backed it up over itself, so it locked the clapping part so it doesn't spring back, so it stays tight on there. So now I can just cut that sucker just like that, and no, no worries, no problems. You ain't got to worry about it slipping or sliding and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm going to come back up here. Now, I'm just going to take it off my swivel right there. You see, this is still in the chuck of the drill. I take my flat pliers. It's got nylon coating on them. Okay. And I'm going to grab it right in the middle. Let me turn the light on again. I'm going to grab it right in the middle. And I'm going to undo this twist. So I'm going to reverse the drill. And just get it as close as I can to be in flat all the way down. Okay, there's that side. Now I'm gonna take it out of the chuck, just like this. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna stick this end in the chuck. I ain't gonna tighten it real, real tight. So all I gotta do is twist this guy clockwise on this side. Like this. There we go. We get somewhere now. There we go. And then take it out of the chuck of the drill. Now watch something else I do here. All right. I'm going to take my ends and I'm just going to get the flat part and fold it over. And I'm going to pinch it just like this. See, I did that. That way, when I go to wrap, the coal, it doesn't slide off the end. Now I'm going to cut that little end piece off. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a sec. Cut that little end piece off. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this end where I started. I'm going to bend it over. Pinch it. Pull it up. Right there. And I'm going to cut that piece off. Now, there's my perfect fuse clapton stick. Anyway, you get the whole point. You'll see what I'm talking about where it's flat, and you can tell. So now I got me a three millimeter bit where you can use a screwdriver, whatever you got, man. It's close to a three millimeter because that's what I'm based my coil on. Now I just lay my thumb right here on it, just like this. Uh, dirty nails, man. There you go. And then I grab the end down here. Okay. And then I just pull it around all over my thumb and trying to keep it so there's no space between 
the wires. Now, I'm going to have to get down here and look at mine while I'm doing this, so I'm not going to be able to get up close with you. Because I want to try to keep it. There's four wraps. Five wraps right there. Like that. around a little bit more because in this one I'm going to bend it. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a sec. You'll be like, damn, look at the hippie go. Cool. Tighten it up. You see what I'm talking about? Now I got it to where it's like this. See, see how I bent that? Just like that. There's one coal right there. There's a coal. She's clapped. All right. I'm gonna leave it on there. And I'm gonna come to the other side and I'm gonna start wrapping me another coal from this side. You wanna know why? Because I can. <laughs> Matter of fact, watch this. I must do it right here. Right here at the end of this coil right here. I'm going to take this sucker. I'm going uh, to... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to go to the other side. There we go. Oh, let me look so I can see what I'm doing. Three, here's four. And this right here makes five. A little bit. Bend it so it's coming straight out. I'm going to grab my pliers. Pull on it. like that. And then there's that one. Okay, now whenever I get them on the device, they'll straighten all out. You know what I'm saying? They'll straighten out. You'll see. Now, I'm just gonna, you know, I know there's some wasted here. Oh, well, who cares? Boom, there's that. I'm going to cut that other end off. Boom, there's that. There's one coal. And I'm going to cut this one off. Out right there. And I got a piece that I can probably wrap me another coal right here. You see what it says? Wrap me another one. See how many wraps I can get out of this one. Two. Three. Four. Six. Now six wraps out of that little bit that I had left. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, it ain't nothing wrong with that at all. You know, I can tidy it up whenever later on. So I'll save that one, put it to the side. All right, I'm gonna get this out. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do it like this. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to try it, man. We're going to try. You know, all you can do is try, right? All right. Now, on these, I'm going to pre cut my leads. So I'm going to stick them in there, just like that right there. Oh, and then I dropped it out. Ah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? Cut this end off. 
got about it. All right, let's do this. Put it in there just like this. And I'm going to cut the leads on this side. There's that one. And there's that one. All right. There's that cool. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take it out. Now I'm going to do the other one the same way. I'm just going to stick it in there all the way. Just like that. All the way in there. I'm going to hold the coal in there just like that. Flip this sucker. Yeah, just like that. So now there's that one. Now I'm going to stick this one in on the other side. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Just like that. To where I want them. And then... Tighten them all down. This side first, and then go to the other side. Get it. Just like that. Do them all. Make sure they're getting tight. Well, baby, I got them on live. Mm. All right. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Uh, just like that. Straighten her up. Now I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to put my three millimeter bit. Pull it out a little bit away from the the dripper, you'll see here in a sec. Let me get her straight. I'll get her in a minute. Y'all wait. There's that one. And then there's this one. Let me bring it up just there. Okay. And there she is. Okay. You see how I did that? And then here's the other side. These clappings. It's the top. Now I'm going to get my tweezers here. Now it says new pull. I hit new. It says 0.13. And I'm going to pulse it at 1.5 volts just for right now. Just pulse it. I'm gonna bring it up to like about 2.5 volts. And I'm gonna pinch them. Pinch this one. And I'm watching for the glow. Oh, see, I guess I have a few little hot spots right there.
Almost. There we go. Let's press them a little bit more. And it'll focus. There we go. Oh, that one looks like it's heating up a little faster. All right, let me tighten them all down again. go now it should be glowing just perfect yep there we go glowing perfect now let them suckers cool off and then i'm gonna wick her up i'm gonna wick her i'm gonna wick her up All right, and I use Muji cotton, just regular old square pads, you know, you know the old square pad thing. Get you some scissors. Got that Muji cotton. Ooh, ah, gonna wick her up. <laughs> just like that. On mine, I peel the two sides off. Just like that. Flip it over and peel that other side off. Just like that. And then my little secret, I go ahead and I pull it apart this way. Just like this. You know? And then I flip it sideways and I pull mine out this way. Just like that. And then I go to rolling and rolling and rolling. Just like that. And then I pull, pinch off the end. You all didn't see that, did you? I pull a pinch off the end. And watch what it does. And then you can just take it and twist it just like that. And you got you a perfect little thing where you can just go right in there just like that. Just pull it through, wiggle back and forth, boom, there's that side. All right. And bend it out just like I did before, you know, stretch it out a little bit, flip it around, pull it out this way. You know what I'm talking about. Just fluff that pad up a little bit. That's all you want to do. Then watch, here goes a little secret. Grab the end and just pull that little piece off. Just pull that little piece off. Twist. And stick it right in there. Boom. Just like that. Go back and forth a little bit. Oh, yeah. Then I'm just going to cut this sucker off just like that. I'm go over here on this side. Cut it off just like that. Then I get the tickle. Then I get the tickle, man. Just like that. Just thin it out a little bit. The other side. Just like that. Turn around on this side. Hold the cotton on the other side so you don't pull it through. It all nice and fluffy. See that? Now you got it all nice and fluffy. Then you just trim her off. Just like that. Trim this side off just like that. Y'all know. Then I can take it and I can just pick this 
drop it in there. Boom, just like that. Take this uh drop it right in there. Uh, just like that. Take this uh drop it right in there. Uh, fighting with echo in there. <laughs> Drop it right down in there, man. And I'm going to show you on this warrior, you just scoop the cotton away from underneath the coal. That way, airflow can get underneath the coal and everything. It'll show. There you go, just like that. See that? There we go. Now let's put some liquid on it, man. Let's just put some daggone liquid on it. Why not? Let's put some daggone liquid on it, for gosh sakes, man. Paint them bad boys up a little bit. Drop some right on the top there, man. I don't know. And faults her a little bit. Oh, let's turn her up now. Up to about 3.8. Let's unscrew her. Screw her back in. New coal. 0.15, man. Just look at it. 0.15 ohm. I'm going to bring it up to 3.5 volts, just like that. Would you just look at it? <laughs> now we're getting some vipers. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Real nice. I'm going to line it up. Just like this. Well, let me put me a little e-liquid. Let me touch my cotton a little bit. Put a little e-liquid around this sucker. Okay. Just like that. Let's get her. Situated on there just like that. Show enough, man. Show enough. Now that we've got it, like here. Show enough, man. 3.5, 3.7 volts. A little too strong for me. All right. Let me, uh, Put it on the heavy hitter. Now that we've got the coal built, we're gonna put it right on this heavy hitter. See how she does at 0.15 ohm. Nice, nice freaking vape. Nice freaking vape. I got the air a little closed off, you know. After it breaks it a little bit, you get a little bit of that crackle. It's crackling a little right now. Nice, nice coal build. I hope y'all like that. Simple, easy, fuse clapton. You know what I'm talking about? And y'all stay tuned. I got some more coal builds coming up for you beginners out there showing y'all how easy it is to build your own daggone coals and save you tons of damn money. You know what I mean? You know, hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. And donate a dollar or two. Help a broke-ass hippie out, man. You know how it is. I'm gone. Don't forget, everybody. Peace. Love. 
and harmony, everybody. Later, y'all.